everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my haul from Friday and Saturday, May 4th and 5th. Um, I hit two rummage sales, one on Friday, one on Saturday. And then on Saturday, there was also the same town this um, church was in for the rummage sale. There was a town-wide sale, and then about 15 minutes from there, there was supposed to be a, well, there was, a community yard sale. And... I'm very glad that I went to the rummage sale first because the townwide and the community sale it turned out to be duds. I think I bought a total of two things and I think maybe I went to about 30 houses. It was ridiculous. This is why I like rummage sales much better than um, yard sales anymore. It's just, I don't know. I don't have nearly as much luck at garage sales as I used to. But anyway... Um, this first sale I went to was at a Methodist church I've been going to for, for a few years now. Um, it's not the biggest sale in the world, but usually I find, you know, a few decent things. And it's funny because when I, when I got there, there was a lady that was already sitting outside the doors waiting. And um, about 15 minutes after I got there, I decided to get out of the car and go sit down and as soon as I did another lady got out of her car and it turned out that she was one that I had seen um, at a rummage sale a couple weeks before so we knew each other and then I recognized the woman who was already sitting in front of the doors as a woman who was at this same rummage sale last year when it was raining and the two uh, nasty women mother and daughter were you know had their chairs in front of the doors and were yelling and screaming at everyone so <laughs> we were kind of reminiscing about that and kind of scratching our heads as to why someone could be that miserable all the time to everyone, especially the people working there. Because I, I was saying to him, like, I don't get it. I said, these people at these sales, they work their butts off and they don't get paid. And I said, they work their butts off to make everything organized and and clean and and help you and they bend over backwards and then there's people like this who just no matter what they do they're still nasty to them so I don't get it but anyway um, kinda just wanted to say you know if you guys go to rummage sales and and you've seen that these people work hard and and volunteer their time just say thank you to somebody you know that's pretty much the point just be grateful for everything that they do because a lot of us wouldn't have you know the incomes that we have without some of these sales and all these people so I'm gonna get off my little soapbox now and show you guys what I bought um, like I said it's not the biggest sale but usually I find some decent things I think I spent a whopping total of like 12 bucks um, so didn't find as much good stuff as I was hoping I would but when I walked into the housewares room, um, I booked right over to this little shelf where they have all their makeup and perfume and that kind of stuff. And it was, you know, meh. Um, so I'll show you what I got. I got this um, Dermablend uh, makeup. This is leg and body cover. And I think I paid, what did I pay for this? I paid a dollar for this. I should be able to make, I think at least 15, maybe a little more. Then I threw this in the bag. I didn't even really look at it. It's called Lil Snarky um, Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream. It's um, brand new and sealed. I paid 50 cents for this. I should actually be able to make like, I don't know, like, eight to ten off of that little tiny thing hand cream which I was surprised um, this probably won't make anything even if, if I even decide to list it this is some indulge what is this aroma aroma flora spa collection jasmine flower scented body cream good god and then there's some bath salts and a little scoop in there Maybe five bucks max, so I might not even list it. Maybe I'll just give it to my daughter and see if she wants it. Then I picked these three things up. I think, yeah, they sell this on QVC. And I know that because I've bought the large 
um, jar of their um, like body lotion, hand cream. What is it? Body lotion? I think it's body lotion. Or it's just called first aid cream or something like that. But anyway, this is from First Aid Beauty. This is their 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. Their, what is this, Facial Radiance Intensive Peel and this one is called something. Oh my god. Seriously, am I ever going to get a camera that actually focuses normally? There we go. Facial Radiance Illuminating Moisturizer. Um, I paid a total of, where is it, 75 cents for all three of these things. So a quarter a piece. Um, I'm going to sell them all together. I think they're all open, actually, if I'm not mistaken. No, oh, that's not. I didn't realize I had a brush on it. Oh, well. Anyway, um, but I'm probably going to try and sell these for like 20 altogether. We'll have to see. And then finally, and I think this is the third time I found these at the sale. The third or fourth time I found these at the sale. These um, L'Oreal Excellence Cream Conditioning Treatments for um, people who color their hair. I don't know who is hoarding all this stuff, but every time I go to this sale, <laughs> there's a pile of these things sitting there. So there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's probably about $30 of hair color right there, and I paid uh, $2 for all of it. All right, then over on the other wall, uh, in the same room where the perfume was. I found this. This is a, a 12 Days of Christmas pan from Chicago Metallic. Initially, I, I think they sold these on QVC too. It's either QVC or HSN because when I did a Google search, um, it was on one of the shopping channels. This is like a, you can use it for a cake pan. I would describe it more as like a shortbread pan or a cooker pan, but anyway. Um, I paid $2 for this. I'm hoping to get at least 15 And then on the opposite side of the room, I found this iPad case with a stand. I normally wouldn't go near an iPad case or a phone case or anything like that because they're a dime a dozen. But um, this was a Lily Pulitzer. The pattern which I find completely hideous, is called, uh, what is it? Oh, Featured in Dirty Shirley. It's supposed to be like coral and under the sea stuff. But anyway, um, it's brand new in the box. I paid a buck for it. These are actually going for around 20 which surprised me, but Lily Pulitzer stuff is really popular. And then in the book room I usually find you know a decent number of books especially kids books to sell at the consignment sale and stuff like that they just did not have the amount of books that they normally do so the only thing that I was able to find was this this is the original Fanny Farmer 1896 cookbook this is like an anniversary edition from uh, I think it's like 1999 or Something like that. Oh, 1996, obviously. Let me see. I paid 50 cents for this. And this should sell for about 20. It's in really, really good shape. And then, I think the last thing I bought at this sale... Oh, nope, not the last thing. I did get one needlework kit, but unfortunately... And it probably got lost in the shuffle somewhere. There's like three bags of, they bagged and, and uh, numbered all the yarn so it was easy to, you know, pull it out and stitch the design. But there's three missing. So I might email the company and see if I can get the three missing colors if it's worth it. But this is um, a bunch of dolphins, which 
I know you can't see. But it's a really pretty design. I paid a buck. I'm not sure if I can sell it without the three missing bags of yarn or not. I might try it. We'll see. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So that might have to go in the donate box. We'll have to wait and see on that. And my best purchase of the whole day was, again, I th and maybe it's the same person who's hoarding the L'Oreal. I don't know. They might also have a stash of these. But this is the second or third one of these Revo um, rotating styling brushes that I found at that sale. I found one brand new one for like three bucks. I sold it for... 120, 130, I believe, something like that. These are very popular. Because um, initially I found another one at a yard sale. That was the first one I found that was brand new. I looked it up on my phone and I was shocked. And I paid, I think, five for that and sold it for, you know, over 100. Then I found the new one last year at the same sale. And now I found this one. This one's used, but it does have the charging base. And the instruction manual doesn't have any of the other pieces that um, sometimes come with it. But that's okay. These things still sell used for like 50, 60 bucks, which is pretty amazing. And I paid three for that. So that is everything from that sale. And then the next day, like I said, I went to the, um, the little church sale in the town that was having their, their town wide that day. Um, this one's over in Rocky Hill, which is right next to Princeton. It's a really cute little town, really cute little church. And <laughs> this sale is really weird. I, I went last year and, um, last year I found a really creepy vase there. Some of you might remember it had like, it was clay and it had like three faces around the top of it. It was really creepy. I was very happy to get rid of it. But I did well on that, so I decided, you know what, let's go back and, you know, well, you never know. But this is a weird sale, because it's small, but and I thought it was a fluke last year. Last year, it was like, most of the things were priced really, really, really low. And then you'd walk halfway down the table and you'd see something else you'd be interested in, and you'd look at it, and it was 10 to $15. And you're like, huh? <laughs> so... They either have someone who's got a split personality who's pricing things or they've got two people with absolutely no idea what the other one is doing at this rummage sale. Um, but I got there, I think it started at 8. I got there at 7.30. I was maybe like the fifth person in the line. And I believe I spent a whopping, I think, 8 bucks. Yeah, I initially spent 6 and then I spent eight, and I'll explain why I spent those extra two dollars in a minute. Um, first thing I got was this little Lennox clock. It's really pretty. And this is just a little mantle clock. Look, 25 cents. Are you kidding? I mean, it's in perfect shape. All it needs is to pull this out and put a battery in it. That's it. So, couldn't pass that up for 25 cents. Um, hoping for maybe 15 on that. And then I went to the jewelry table, which, you know, you guys know I'm not really all that into the jewelry because there's just way too much competition. But um, since it happened to be on the way to looking at everything else, I figured, you know, I'll stop and just look. And this is what I got from there, even though it's not jewelry. So, all this little box and... In here it says Williamsburg Silver, the Stife Company in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, reproductions, they made reproductions of this silver pattern. And in the box are the cutest little salt spoons you've ever seen in your life. Wow! I mean, how cute are these? <laughs> I would keep these for myself if I had a purpose for them, but I don't. Anyway, these are um, sterling silver. Come on, camera. Jesus. I swear, the next time I get a camera, I'm going out and getting it myself. I'm not letting my husband 
just buy whatever he wants. Um, anyway, these are really cute. They were really tarnished. I did clean them up. As you can see, like especially with this one, there is some pitting, which unfortunately I can't get rid of. But for the most part, they're in pretty good shape. And they came with the original box and the paperwork, which I can't find, uh, I don't think, on any of the other stuff that's on eBay. But just one of these tiny little spoons sells on eBay for approximately $25. It's crazy. Um, I paid $0.25 cents for this whole box of tiny spoons. And I'm, I'm going to put them up for, I don't know, maybe start them at auction at 50 and see where it goes because of the pitting and all that stuff. So, fingers crossed, see what happens with that. That's definitely a, an auction item. Then I went to the clothing aisle. And you guys know that I, you know, I don't buy clothing. But every once in a while, if I see something hanging up that I don't have to dig for, that I know is good, then I'll, you know, suck it up and buy it. Um, so I bought this vest. And I've sold this name before. It's called Vrik, or Vrike, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't speak Norwegian, but um, it says Norwegian designed by Irene Hoagland Zoll. These are really nice um, wool embroidered sweaters, vests, and they all have these beautiful, um, all have this beautiful hardware for buttons. They're really, really nice. Anyway, this was five bucks, and I bought it because the last one I sold, I believe I sold it for like seventy dollars, and that was a cardigan sweater. I'm hoping to get fifty to seventy-five out of this vest, so we'll see what happens with that. And then the last few things I bought there, um, oh, I bought these advent calendars. You guys know how I am with advent calendars; I love them. But these were, uh, I don't know, like 25 cents a piece or something like that. I think it averaged out to. But I got three different ones. Brand spanking new in the packages. Try and get about 10 a piece for those. And then the final thing I bought, the best thing I bought, well, we'll have to see how the spoons do. But I went to the DVD section and you know, all the... The DVDs and the books were all together, and all those people with the scanners were going crazy. So I tried to kind of sneak in and find something that was worthwhile. And in the bottom of a box, before anybody else, I guess, saw it, I found this box set. This is called Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, this is the Perfect Collection. That's going to focus if you guys can see that. I have my glasses on but I can't tell if this is focusing. There we go. Um, this is an anime set and I looked it up on my phone quick and I was like, ooh, yeah, definitely getting that. Problem was, was that video 5, which is right here, was not um, in this set. So I looked at the rest of the discs, they were there, they were in perfect condition. And while I was walking around the town wide sale, I ended up finding number five all by itself from a seller. Um, made him an offer because he had best offer on it. And I paid 10, yeah, 9.95 was free shipping for number five. And I think I paid a whopping dollar for the rest of this box set. Uh, so I paid what, 10.95 for everything. And this set is worth um, probably around a hundred bucks. I was really happy with that. I asked my son, who's like, you know, Mr. Anime. Oh my God, the kid loves anime and video games. That's what he lives his life for. Um, so I texted him when he was at work and I said, I, I bought this. I said, you know, do you think this is good? He's like, it's only considered like one of the best animes ever. Duh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so... I'm glad I got that, although I can't sell this until he watches it, because he hasn't seen this yet. So, once he watches it, then I'll list it, and it'll go bye-bye. So, what happened was I went to um, 
went to pay for this stuff and I had one of my big bags and I'm putting stuff on the counter and I thought the bag was empty and they said okay give us six bucks gave him six bucks walked out the door I was emptying that bag into a tote that I have in the back of my um, car because I knew I was going to walk around to the town white sale and I wanted my bag empty and then I discovered that I think it was the spoons and the advent calendars because I have more than one bag um, I put some of the bags inside my other bag in case I have things that need to be cushioned um, the advent calendars were hiding behind another bag so I pulled them out I pulled the spoons out I'm like oh my gosh I didn't you know I didn't pay for these so I did walk back into the church and I went up to him and I said I'm sorry I missed these in my bag can I please pay you for them so they even gave me a break on the price even though it was crazy cheap already and I guess I got very good karma that day for my good deed of going back in and paying for it because a few hours later I sold um, I had a Mr. Christmas Teddy Takes Requests that I showed you guys a while ago. It was like an animated, animated teddy bear sitting at a piano. And he plays, and, uh, he plays all kinds of different songs, depending on what hat you put on his head. I sold him later that day for $130. So, it pays to do the right thing, I guess. Um, so that was that sale. And then, like I said, I went to the town wide. And the only thing I got there was this guy. This is a chimpanzee puppet from Folk Tales, which is a folk manis puppet. As you can see, oh, here goes the cat again. He's brand new with the tags. Paid two bucks. Probably get about 20 for him. And then at another house, I believe for a dollar, I bought this used travel block us game because I bought a new one a week or two before and the new ones sell for about forty dollars a piece so I paid a buck for this hoping to get maybe fifteen to twenty out of that and that was it I went to other sales and then that whole big community sale you know ten minutes away from where I was and it was just a bust so now I have to get ready there's an estate sale this morning and that's the only thing going on it's been raining for like three or four days here it's been miserable I don't think there's much going on this weekend, um, which is good because I really don't want to go out tomorrow because I want to see the royal wedding. Oh, I've watched all of them since Princess Diana when I was 12, so it's kind of a tradition. So anyway, that's it. Oh, one more thing I forgot. This was from the first sale. I also picked this up for 25 cents or something. Uh, oh no, I paid a dollar for this, sorry. This is a green glass mug and it has this kind of faux leather thing wrapped around it. It says um, Storytown USA from Lake George, New York. So I picked this up because I figure there's a lot of people um, who've been Storytown who might want that. So I'm hoping to get 20 with free shipping on that. So that's it guys. No real good stories this week unfortunately. Um, and I have to let the cat out now. Right? Thanks for watching everyone, and I do have to say my next haul is going to be absolutely enormous. Um, this was a rummage sale that I went to last weekend, and it was, it's always a monster. I got there as early as I could, and I was still like the 30th or 40th person in the line. Uh, and I got there like two hours early. It was crazy. So, um, anyway, I'll have a lot of stuff to show you in that haul. Uh, I think I paid an average of 32 cents an item and I bought maybe a hundred things. It's craziness. So thanks for watching everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.